Princess Leia, Nachos, and Rumblefish are all on this day. Welcome back to On This Day. Today's date is October 21st, 2021. It is the 294th day of the year. We got 71 days left. It is the 42nd Tuesday in the 43rd week, and it is the 30th day of fall. We got 61 days left until winter. And if the weather channel's correct, we're about ready to be pounded by a winter storm up here in Oregon next week or so. If today's your birthday, you are a Libra. Today is National Nacho Day, as in the chips with cheese and all that good stuff, celebrated every year on October 21st. The day encourages people to try nachos for the first time ever. Nachos aren't a traditional Mexican dish. It was actually invented in 1940 by a guy named Ignacio Nacho Anya at the Victory Club in 1940. The Victory Club is in a little town just over the border from Eagle Pass, Texas. These American ladies who would come over there for lunch or dinner all the time wanted something a little bit different that wasn't on the menu, so he went in the back room, saw some freshly made tortilla chips, and started throwing crap on top of it. The rest is history. All right, let's see what else October 21st has given us. 1879, Thomas Edison applies for a patent for his design for an incandescent light bulb. I'm kind of surprised they've been around that long. I know we had different types of light bulbs, but the actual incandescent light bulb showed up in 1879. That's another interesting thing, the light bulb. They have light bulbs that can last 20 and 30 years, but back in the day, they realized that their industry would be completely gone, all these light bulb manufacturers, if they made these light bulbs that last 20 years. So they came up with this agreement to make light bulbs that would only last a certain amount of hours. And they have this whole code they have to follow. It's really strange. Get in trouble if you make a light bulb that goes beyond, you know, like this two or three year limit that they have. 1940, the first edition of Ernest Hemingway's novel, From Whom the Bell Tolls, is published. That is like one of three Ernest Hemingway books I've not read. It's on my bucket list, but I haven't got around to it yet. He's only got like 10 novels. I know he's got some other books, some nonfiction books, but yeah, I got to read the rest of them. Got to read that one, The Garden of Eden, and The Sun Also Rises. Those are the ones I haven't read of his novels. 1944, World War II. The first kamikaze attack damages the Australian heavy cruiser HMAS Australia. 1945, French women vote for the first time during the 1945 French legislative election. Kind of late in the game. I think we were about 20 or something years earlier. 1959, President Eisenhower approves the transfer of all U.S. Army space-related activities to NASA, including most of the U.S. Army's ballistic missile agency. 1973, Fred Dreyer of the Los Angeles Rams becomes the first player in NFL history to score two safeties in the same game. Now, Fred Dreyer was a great football player. He was also an actor and still acts to this day. When I was probably, I don't know, 17, 18, he was filming an episode of his TV show, Hunter, down in Hermosa Beach, and me and my friends had nothing else to do. So we're just kind of watching it. We'd been there a while. It was interesting to us. We had nothing else to do. It was like a Tuesday at the beach. One of the productive people comes over to us we weren't even making noise and goes don't you retards have something else to do and it drops the r-bomb on us total a-hole always remember that you know what's funny is it had nothing to do with fred dreyer i hated him from that point on in my young head because it was his show it's too bad it's weird how our brains work sometimes 1978 australian civilian pilot frederick valinacek vanishes over the bass strait south of melbourne after reporting contact with an unidentified aircraft Ooh, spooky 2019, 30 people are killed in a fiery bus crash in the western section of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. 2019, in Canada, the 2019 Canadian federal election ends, resulting in incumbent Prime Minister Justin Trudeau remaining in office, albeit in a minority government. I'm not sure how theirs works. I think that's the equivalent of, let's say, the President of the United States is a Democrat and the House Representatives and the Senate are Republican controlled. Let me know in the comment section below if I got that right. I do a little research on it, but it's just not that interesting to me. And it seems like a rabbit hole I really don't want to go down trying to understand it. Movie released on October 21st, 1983, an outstanding movie, Rumblefish. This is based on Essie Hinton's novel of the same name. The film follows Rusty James, who is excited for the return of his brother, 
known as Motorcycle Boy. You know, he's excited his brother's coming back so he can get away from his alcoholic father. A lot of the big stars from 1983 were in this movie. Nicolas Cage, Matt Dillon, he played Rusty James, Diane Lane, she played Patty, and Motorcycle Boy was Mickey Rourke. Also in the movie was Chris Penn, which is Sean Penn's younger brother who actually died in like 2006. Uh, Dennis Hopper was in it. Sofia Coppola. Just an excellent movie. Came out around the same time as all that The Outsiders and just a great time for movies. Born on October 21st, 1956, Carrie Fisher, the greatest princess ever. She was born to singer Eddie Fisher and actress Debbie Reynolds and raised with her younger brother named Todd Fisher. She was married to Paul Simon from Simon and Garfunkel for like a year, 1983-1984. She also was briefly engaged to Dan Aykroyd in 1980. She attended Beverly Hills High School until she was 16, then she got a part in like a play and never went back. She was an extremely intelligent woman. Her family actually thought of her as a bookworm when everyone else was out doing other things. She had her nose stuck in a book, as her mom, Debbie Reynolds, said. Her first film role was in the movie Shampoo in 1975 with Warren Beatty, Goldie Hawn, Julie Christie, and then she landed Star Wars, Princess Leia, and she blew up from there. If you ever want to read a good book, she wrote a book called Postcards from the Edge. She wrote a couple books. That is just such an amazing book. They made a movie out of it um, in 1990. Meryl Streep played Carrie Fisher. She had four movies released after her death. In 2017, Star Wars The Last Jedi, and then 2019 Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, where they actually used archive footage and you know, it was really, really neat. Very well done. Then she had Have a Good Trip, which came out in 2020, and then Wonder Wall, which came out in 2021. If you want to see something amazing, George Lucas got a Lifetime Achievement Award by AFI, and you can find it on YouTube, but her speech on that is amazing. Just type in AFI Life Achievement Award uh, tribute to George Lucas, something like that, and you will find her speech. It's about an hour long, the whole show, so go to the 30-minute mark and watch her part. It's amazing. Amazing. Died on October 21st, 2006, we lost Sandy West. You probably never heard of her. I'm going to hip you to who she was. She was the drummer of the band The Runaways in the 1970s with Joan Jett, Lita Ford, and Sherry Curry. There's a bunch of other members that came along later. They were the original band. If you still don't know who they are and you're, you know, over the age of 40, 50 maybe, they wrote that song and sang that song, Cherry Bomb. Their history and how they became a band is very interesting. If you ever get a chance, there's a movie. I'm sure it's, you know, Hollywooded up. I wasn't there, so I don't really know. But the band was called The Runaways. I think it came out in 2010. Yeah, it was 2010. Had Kristen Stewart, uh, Dakota Fanning. A lot of people hated the movie. I thought it was great. Sandy West died of lung cancer at the age of 47. She was only diagnosed about a year before that. All right, everyone, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Now go out, be productive, and be nice to each other.